Hey, Fabiola, thank you so much for talking with me today. I heard that it's your birthday. <laughs> Thanks so much. No, thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to share my story and the experience that I've had in the last years being an entrepreneur. So it is a pleasure to me to talk about this. Well, for who is watching or listening to us, Fabiola, Fabiola de los Rios, uh, <laughs> you are from Mexico, right? Yes. Correct. And yes. you were an entrepreneur here in Canada, as you just said. Uh, yes. And Fabiola, it's one of the guest speakers in the event Woman in Leadership, Outstanding Through Education, that happened on March 10 from 4 to 5 p.m. in Vancouver time. Uh, this is an incredible event in partnership with uh, University Canada West to support women to start IMEBA career uh, studies and career as well, right here in Canada. Fabiola, uh, I, I would like to ask to start asking you how education helped you in your career. Well, to me, education has been everything in my life because I was raised in a very small town in Mexico. So I had to go out from my parents' town at the age of 13. So I haven't lived in their house since 13 years old because in that town there wasn't a high school oh. with English teachers. So I had to um, pretty much prepare my mind to make some sacrifices and study and prepare myself. So I had to go to a different uh, city to study high school and that has been my entire life. Then I moved to a bigger city, Guadalajara, to do my bachelor degree and then when I was a student I started to be very interested in in the Chinese culture in the language so I started to study Chinese as well and then uh, the university had the opportunity to do the first internship in that university to China and they had to choose 12 students from the international business career so thanks to the classes that I had of Chinese Mandarin, I was selected to be one of the first 12 students to do an a internship to Shanghai and then Beijing. So we had the opportunity to study in Tsinghua University, which is the best university in Beijing, one of the best in China. And I did my internship in a company in Shanghai as well for logistics. So if you put the points back, as Steve Jobs said one time, um, everything is connected. Yes, um, I had to do the first sacrifice, yes, going out from my parents' house and then get out of my comfort zone by studying Chinese and dedicate extra hours while I was a student that I had to deal with other, you know, classes and stuff. So it, I always felt like I was giving an extra and extra and it has always paid off in my life in a personal way and a professional way. Oh, and I can imagine it's like if you go to, did you go to Beijing and mm -hmm. well, going to a different country is already like a challenge, right? Yes. And a country who speaks like Chinese, it's oh yes. my God, you have to put a lot of effort on that. This is yes. amazing. So you speak, well, uh, your mother tongue, Spanish. Uh, yes. Do you speak, it's Mandarin or? Uh, Chinese Mandarin. I, Chinese. I studied for um, three years and then I, I arrived in China and I realized I didn't know much at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, and then yeah. English, of course. Yes. Oh, that's um, just amazing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, and so you went to Beijing and then you will have a master degree as well, right? It was in China or where did you keep your study? Yes, I, I studied in China as well. And I will say the best uh, master degree in my life, it has been actually start my own business. Oh, okay. So I started my business and I moved to China. Uh, so I started a company. Um, it's, it's a long story. Like, mm -hmm. you will say on your event, I'm pretty sure <laughs> to inspire people. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, I had a lot of obstacles while I was trying to reach the goal of, um, opening the company in China. I wanted to open one of the first Mexican companies established in China, just to have the license there to sell food, to sell tequila, 
uh, to be able to do everything legal, to do events, catering events, um, all type of events, expos and that kind of stuff. So I needed this license to have the freedom and to be able to promote different products from my country. So yeah, th there was a lot of obstacles, but everything pay off. And I will say that has been my biggest master degree, <laughs> living there and doing everything. Yeah. Uh, well. And prepare, always being studying and prepare myself with courses, with, um, for example, I, I did a, a course in, in the tequila industry to learn everything about that field. So okay. I can, I can talk to the clients and people in the same language, you know, like, oh, yes. uh, so I, I feel it's pretty much the same, whatever your goal is, you have to study and the more you specialize, the better. Yes. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a good advice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, and I would like to say, of course, we are like an international woman month and uh, it's very important to talk about this. And I would like you to, to say us like your opinion, right? How important mm -hmm. is to have a woman in leadership roles? Because uh, we know we can see that most men uh, held right, these positions, right? So yeah. how important is, of course, to study and keep doing your business, your job and well? Uh, well, I think it's extremely important for any community, any country, the world, it is very important that women start to see these positions um, as part of life and don't think that it is a fact that as a woman, we do have lots of obstacles just by the fact of being mothers, right? Um, you have to do pauses that a, a man doesn't have to do all the time. Yes, just by nature, we do have more obstacles in life to have these type of positions in the world, like different, in different fields, in different areas. But I think we should set up our minds that this gives us extra strength. We do think in, in a lot of things, we multitask. We, I, I think that we do have a lot of qualities and yeah. we should embrace that instead of seeing as oh it is an obstacle for example to have kids it is an instead of thinking like that we should think that it's it's giving us more power mentally yeah. emotionally once you become a mother for example once you are a mom you do see things different in a better way you yeah. become more compassionate you be you have more empathy for your co-workers for even your boss or anybody who is around your, your ambience. So I think we should see these gifts that the nature has given us as powerful tools to become a better leader mm -hmm. yeah. in a company, in politics, in whatever. We, we do have all these things that make us great humans being. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we need more women in these positions we do need them mm -hmm. yeah the word needs right well not nothing against men yes. of course and this is going to be no my, no no, no. <laughs> it's going to no. be my next question uh, well i i wish i could still talking about this and listen to you about talking about women's rights the opportunities that we should have uh mm -hmm. on the business market but unfortunately we can't so i need to move on for the next question uh yes. and talking about that men also uh, men can participate of this event that you're gonna speak they can yeah okay yeah they can right yeah <laughs> yeah that's good well and what people can expect from uh, from the event women leadership of course you're going to talk about your life which is amazing right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um well what should they expect from the conference i i will say just to hear a true story from from my side to hear a true story in how to self-motivate uh in different areas uh, education um in a personal area as well, I I will share a little bit of some obstacles that I've had in life. One one accident that um, I almost died in a car accident, and it was in the middle while I was building my company. So um, I think people can expect uh, this: the the true 
a true story and hopefully somebody get inspired by hearing this. And if they're struggling with something right now in their lives, I hope that this conference give them a little bit of hope that we have, we do have resilience. We can be stronger with the years, older but stronger, and we can always be better through education. And also that education can give you a lot of motivation in your life. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you can always get better, always. Mm -hmm. So I, my personal way to see education is, is like a path that makes you better in all the ways and that will always keep you busy mentally, physically. So yeah, I yeah, think that I, they can expect. The environment on university, right? It's, it's incredible to learn and to make network as well, right? Yes, yes, that's very important. Yes. Yeah. Well, and how I, people can can register? How can can participate of this event? I know that it's on the on a latincover.ca. People can register for this event. Yes. Right. And yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's through the website, right? Yes. Okay. Well, it's gonna so be my yes, my sir. last <laughs> question is, uh, I would like you to. To invite people who's listening to us or watching us to participate of this incredible conference that you are in front of. Yes, sure. Well, I will uh, invite everybody, everybody who who wants to, who feels that they need a little push to to make a decision if they feel they're struggling, if they should study this or they should study that, if they they feel like they don't know what to do maybe with their lives right now or um, if they just want to study and they want to hear some advices, I will invite you to hear this conference. It's always uh, very good to hear different points of views. You don't have to agree with everything that the speakers are talking. So precisely for that, this gives you more perspective. This gives you, uh, can give you a different way to see education uh, from, from different lenses, because we all see life from through different lenses. So I will invite everyone who is interested in education to listen to this conference because it will definitely give you something good. Yeah, thank you so much, Fabiola, for sharing. And well, be inspiration for a lot of people. I'm pretty sure you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation. Well, I am Bruna Weber from Latin Coover. Thanks for watching and give us a like. It would be amazing. Uh, let us know what you think about it. Uh, more information about this event and another events from Latin Coover. You can access latincoover.ca. Enjoy us uh, for this amazing event, Women in Leadership. Uh, outstand through education that happened on March 10 from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Vancouver time.